So, I'm back again in a familiar place. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, house-sitting for my parents right now. Yeah, so I'm, uh, yeah, staying at their house. And I thought I'd vlog here. It's been like, I don't know. Four years, I think, since since uh, I made a video here, at least. And Lol is here too. Yeah, he might hear her. He's right over there. I can show you. Hey, Lola. Yeah, you. <laughs> You're on a vlog again. <laughs> What's it been like? Five, six years since you were last on one of my vlogs? Something like that. You look so much like Buddy, uh, my old dog, who was also on these vlogs. Yeah, look at her. See all that white around her uh, nose and mouth? <laughs> yeah, you're now like 11 or 12 years old, I think. And yeah, you look a lot like Buddy did uh, before he passed away. Yeah, yeah, you do. Hey, yeah, you. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Yeah, this video will be, uh, kind of like videos that I've done before, uh, when one of my job ends and I'm looking for a new job. But th this time it's different, uh, because I still have a job. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still working. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've mentioned this before that, uh, I got a new job at this, like, lawn and garden and pet and farm store that they sell a lot of stuff. But, but yeah, I've worked there since February, so I'm... Sure, I mentioned it in another video. Yeah, and when I started, I was a seasonal employee. Uh, although I, I didn't know that when I was hired. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can hear it all. <laughs> yeah, she's... Uh, I don't know, I think she's tired or something <laughs> but but yeah yeah so just uh in august i was actually made a year-round employee uh i guess i got promoted this is my first permanent year-round non-seasonal non-temporarily job i've worked in I guess five years, I think. My last one was the deli job. I worked in a grocery store. It's been a little while since I've had a job that doesn't have an end date set. <laughs> so yeah, but, yeah, but, but this, this Current job is a is a nice job. It's not too stressful. Uh, all my coworkers are nice, uh, but it, yeah, but it's just not something I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> Which I know I've said that before in videos. Uh, but but it, it is nice to have a job and not be looking for a new one because uh, it. It's felt like looking for 
work was my job. Uh, sometimes I, I did that so often. Yeah, uh, I can do this job for, you know, a while. And it's good to take a break from job searching. And yeah, my, the last job I had last year uh, was a job at the fire center. Uh, I, and it, yeah, that was a little rough. Uh, my official job title uh, was seasonal laborer. Uh, and I would be making what we, we call kits, which were boxes of supplies uh, that were sent to the firefighters out fi fighting the, the wildfires uh, or, or the forest fires, whatever they're called. Uh, and and these, these supplies would be anything from tools like hammers and nails to uh, office supplies to gasoline to hoses. Uh, a, lo a lot of water hoses, yeah, <laughs> uh, and I literally, I literally did hundreds of these uh, kits, uh, and then the, a lot of the times the, we would get supplies coming back to us, and then we would have to go through them and we would take out anything that we could reuse. And I was doing this for 10 hours a day, six days a week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I first uh, got the job, it was five days a week, still 10 hours a day, but uh, I had Saturdays and Sundays off but that only lasted one week. And then my boss uh, announced that we were going to go to six days a week because the fires were getting real bad and we were short staffed. Uh, there, I think there was only five seasonal laborers, uh, including me, uh, and that was all the people who applied for the uh, position. So yeah, we, I think they hired everyone who applied. And if they could have had it where I worked five days a week, uh, even for 10 hour days, I might consider going back there, but, uh, yeah, they would need to have it so the forest fires were bad enough that they needed to bring in, uh, season, more seasonal laborers, because it, uh, in the years past, they, they didn't hire any seasonal laborers just because the fires weren't that bad. They, yeah, but the fires would be, have to be so bad that they needed to hire seasonal laborers, but not so bad that they didn't need to go to six days a week. Uh, or they got a lot more uh, people applying for the jobs, job openings, then they could uh, have it so it was only five days a week. But that, that would have been really tricky to do. So yeah, I yeah, I don't think I'm going to be going back to that job. But but it still was a, a good job, even though I was working 60 hours a week. Uh, I, I got a 45-minute 
lunch every day. And uh, they had everyone take two 15-minute breaks every day. So, yeah, that was really good. Uh, I guess it was almost exactly three months that I did that job. Uh, yeah, that, that really wore me down. And yeah. Yeah, and also the start time was 6 a.m. Yeah, that, that, that's when the job would start. I thought they would like push the start time back as uh, it got into fall because the sun was going to be rising later and it would be darker, but uh, it turned out that most of the work was done inside in a warehouse, so yeah, they yeah, it, it didn't matter if it was dark outside. But my current job is a lot different. I'm working as a warehouse worker uh, where I unload the delivery trucks and keep the shelves all stocked and help out where needed. Yeah, I'm only working eight-hour days. And I don't start at 6 a.m anymore <laughs> yeah yeah I, yeah the, yeah the, the store doesn't open before 9 a.m. for my promotion I was transferred to a different store so I, the, the company has a, a bunch of stores uh, around this area uh, yeah my new store is actually in a different city than the one that I live in uh, and I thought the my new commute would be uh, more than twice as long, but uh, it's not as bad as I thought. Uh, I have to take the highway to get to my job, and uh, on the other side of the highway, I, I can see the traffic going in the opposite di direction. Uh, both when I'm going to and from work. So, yeah, it, so yeah, it doesn't take me as long as I thought it would. Also, this promotion, uh, I guess, as I'm calling it, uh, it, it happened really fast. Uh, it, yeah, just one day, my boss at the my old store, he just talked to me and said that there's an opening that's probably going to happen at another store and just he just asked if I would be interested in the position. Uh, he said he would like to hire me but he just didn't have any spots available uh, after summer. I told him I was interested and then pretty much uh, by the end of that day, I had gotten the transfer, and then, and then I was starting uh, soon. This actually happened like in the middle of a couple of trips that uh, I was taking, almost back to back. Cause yeah, cause I I had one trip that I took. Uh, and came back to to work for about a week, and then I got the transfer, and then I took another trip. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, went on that trip, and then came back and went to the, the new store, so yeah. Yeah, it was kind of a whirlwind for me, and I, w I was glad to have things settled down. I was kind of hoping that uh, I would finish up my job at my old store, and then I would have some time off, and then uh, I could start uh, at another store, but... 
that didn't happen. But uh, so I'm still glad to be working and not looking for work. So yeah, yeah, it's a it's a good feeling. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this uh, video. Uh, until next time, goodbye.